we're going to make a video for Izzy Wizzy and Make Time to Play and we're going to show you how to do potato and carrot stamping so what you need for the stamping is some potatoes and carrots a sharp knife and some cutters some paint we've, so we've got half a potato like that and then we're going to you can either cut the shapes out by hand with a sharp knife or a bit of a cheats way and to get a more accurate shape we can use cutters. Oh, hold it in the middle I can and do press it. down. Oh, I heard it go there. <laughs> can we do the other one after? So if I take the cutter out you can see I've got the shape of a okay. flower here. <laughs> And then I'm going to cut carefully about a quarter of an inch in the potato until it hits the edge of the shape. And there I have a flower shaped stamper. Got heart shapes, flowers, we've got a huge big star, we've got the letter M start somebody's name and we've got a couple of other little shapes and ends of carrots and things so we're going to start having a stamp and see how it goes so we, we've got these um this paint block here so we're just going to get a shape like the flower and i'm just gonna um rub it around in the paint block so i've got a nice painted surface on the bottom of the flower i'm going to stamp it down on my paper and there you go, a stamped flower. Oh, wow, you're doing another one next to it. That's really good. Oh, so you can get about four or five goes out of one. I think you need some more paint now. As you can see, she's just working it onto the paint. And away she goes, trying Stamping. out a carrot. Yeah. So, so I haven't got a carrot. You haven't done a carrot yet. So what have you got in your picture so far? Can you tell everybody? Uh, these are the top of the flowers. They are the stars and that is the grass. That's really lovely. So you're trying a carrot now. So can we show everybody how a carrot works? We've just got a round of a carrot. Let's see how well that stamps. Oh, beautiful. So carrots make lovely little circles. Saves you cutting out little circles out of a potato. There are lots of things you can do once you've done your stamping. Obviously, you can just make it as a picture. You could make cards out of stamping pictures for birthdays and Christmas. And another great idea is to make wrapping paper. Um, with uh, Nanny's birthday coming up next week, we thought we'd try and make some wrapping paper in a minute. So here we are making a sheet of wrapping paper for Nanny's birthday present. What we did for this one is got to cut a piece of brown paper. We've cut it to size of the present we're going to do. If you put that potato down, we're just going to put a little bit of glitter over the top of each heart before the paint dries, just to make the wrapping paper a bit sparkly. So you're going to put some along each one before they dry? Yeah. Wow, this is going to be fantastic paper. Is this yeah. fun to do? And, and it's really brilliant. Really brilliant. Do you think lots of children like doing this? Yeah. Really good activity to do, isn't it? So it's something that children can be creative with, um, gets them to use different textures, as in vegetables, and it gets you to talk about vegetables. It's a painting activity. So it's lots of things rolled into one, and the fact that they can use the... Um, the things they've made as things like cards and wrapping paper and pictures to give to grandparents etc I think that makes it a really really good activity to do. So yesterday we did lots of potato stamping and we now have lots of pretty finished and pictures. this is our present. So we made our own wrapping paper didn't we? Yep. Which is very special and Maisie's used that to wrap a present for her nanny. Yep. So I think that's a lovely lovely thing to do. We've got lots out of potato <gasps> stamping, pictures, wrapping paper, presents. So, do you enjoy doing potato stamping? Yes. And do you give potato stamping a thumbs up or a thumbs down as an activity to do? Yay.